What, uh, what's your name? Sure, of course. Everyone loves my work, but apparently not enough to watch the credits and find out what my name is. Well, the important thing is that we enjoy your great performances, right? How about you enjoy this? Yeah! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Margo, I thought we agreed no guns. Oh, is that what we agreed to? I thought we said no gum. But you're also chewing gum. I'm a wild card. <laughs> Are you seriously trying to make me jealous by flirting with what is very obviously just three kids stacked on top of each other under a trench coat? Are you so obsessed with throwing a party all of a sudden? Ow, ow, ow. You know how much money we lost because of you? I can't even afford a hall now for my daughter's 15th birthday. And now I got a hundred guests coming and nowhere to put them. You owe me a party, cabron. And if you don't deliver... <laughs> because parties are fun? Falafel? Or... Falafel? What? Slap my salami, the guy's a commie. And do it quick, the ice is melting. Oh my god, is that dad? Okay, love ya. Uh... Uh... No, I don't. You already know too much. Smoke bomb! Yes! Why did you just throw a plum on the floor? I thought it was a smoke bomb. I know what's been going on. Ah, I wasn't gonna pee, I was just taking my penis out. Oh no, the snow goblin wants to destroy our seasonal festivities. Snow goblin is an offensive slur. <laughs> She's dead. You have a guest room? Why have I been sleeping on the couch for five years? You'll get the guest room when you've earned the guest room. Come yes. in! Father daughter bathroom time. I don't like pedophile murderer hands, but I also don't like people talking trash about avocados. This is a real head scratcher for me. But olive oil doesn't actually reduce the stickiness in pasta, but it's only a me! No! I've wasted so much of my life stirring olive oil into pasta! I'm not sure I want to wear the pajamas your dad gave me. <laughs> you don't look so hot yourself, Herb. <laughs> I have cancer. I think he's really strangling her. What? Oh, no. Turn the camera back on. But am I really being courted by two gangs? Oh, I feel like the bell of the ball. I can't breathe. <laughs> am I dying? <gasps> toast. <gasps> I smell burning toast. Oh, my God, my toast. Oh, wow, she is losing a lot of blood, Bojack. Beautiful day for a drive, though, huh? Could be this. Oh, my God, he's got a gun. Relax, it's a lighter. How much lighter fluid can I take on the plane? That's not true. I can express feelings. Nothing on the outside, nothing on the inside. Hey, I'm bored, and I think Todd swallowed a cyanide pill and might be dead. He died of a broken heart because you didn't appreciate him enough, and now he's gone forever. We might have gone too dark on that series finale. Wait, 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 is that just your gun-shaped lighter or your lighter-shaped gun? Busted! It's just a lighter. <laughs> Bojack, how are your utensils? Uh, they're fine. Are you sure? Because if that knife ain't sharp enough, I got another that you left in my back 20 years ago! <laughs> Could have seen that coming. Who asks about utensils? Ooh, wants chocolate chip pancakes! I do, I do! Why are you talking to me? Kids. Oh, I don't have any kids. Oh, I just assumed you had a bunch of kids, because, you know, your body. How's the pie here? Not good. Well, I'll take all you got. Screw it. Throw it in a bowl with some bourbon and bring me a ladle. Mm-hmm. I hope you die before I do, so you never have to know what it's like to lose a mother. Well, as long as one of us dies, that's good enough for me. That was, and I don't say this lightly, Worse than a hundred September 11ths. Yeah, you're right. This was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, guess I'll give up forever. <laughs> That's the spirit. Abortion's even necessary? You know, I heard a theory that if a woman really has an unwanted pregnancy, the body has a way to break the fetus down into gas particles, and then she can just fart it out. Where did you hear this intriguing fart it out theory? I don't remember. Maybe the Bible? Thank you for clarifying. You never told me what it was. Oh, it's Cats in the Cradle. But don't listen to it now. I'm gonna go listen to it. No, the lyrics are too relevant. Don't do it. No! I'll do the dumb movie. But if you find me in a bathtub with open wrists tomorrow and the words, I hate my agent, smeared across the walls in blood, 
you'll know why. Jack, we need an answer. Yeah, I don't know. Gosh, I want to say... Elijah Wood. What? Oh. Eliza Wood? Do you hear about the mass shooting outside Tulsa? Oh, terrible tragedy. Thoughts and prayers. We really have to do something about these men who just... No, right PC, this time it was a woman. A woman mass shooter? Oh, no. That really is bad news. I just think this is what happens when you give women guns. They start shooting people with them. I mean, do they even know what guns are for? I don't feel safe anymore walking down my own street alone at night. Me, a man. I am convening a series of congressional hearings on the matter of women and guns because even one death from the bullet of a female gun owner is too many. What are my constituents supposed to do? Not compliment random women on the street because they might be carrying a gun? We cannot allow our lives to be dictated by that kind of fear. So you see, the trigger was specifically designed for a man's grip and a man's temperament. Jack, watch huh? out! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! What was that? A stick? Tree branch? Nothing? I heard someone scream, oh no. Well, yeah, that's the sound a stick makes when you hit it with your car. Bojack, we just hit a deer. We have to get him to a hospital. He's fine. He's in the woods. You know how it is. You hit a deer and they limp off to the woods to continue living their lives. I'm looking for something that will hold up a lot of weight. Let's say something that could hoist up a horse comfortably by the neck. Not for suicide purposes. <sighs> Uh, Bojack, you really shouldn't throw a lit cigarette off the... Fine, I'll call 911. I still don't understand what started the fire. Nobody knows where fire's coming. No, I just need the right music. To do drugs to. Work it. Oh, it smells like a skunk skunked another skunk in here, and then they smoked a joint. What happened? I have to tell you how hard life is. You're the ones with the dead parents. My parents are dead? No, no, not necessarily. Maybe they just didn't want you. But has the concept of women having choices gone too far? We've assembled this diverse panel of white men in bow ties to talk about abortion. Gentlemen? Tom, this is not just a woman's issue. I'm a man, but if I got pregnant, would I put my life on hold for a child I didn't want? Yes, I would. And I can say that with confidence because I will never have to make that decision, so I'm unbiased. Throws the bag of mulch out the window over the side of the 101. And? Well, that's it. He throws it out the window. That's the punchline? That's kind of a thinker. I'll say. Makes me think you forgot the rest of the joke. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Oh, hey, Princess Carolyn. What is going on here? Only the future. We've received complaints from several concerned parents. It seems that many of your clown dentists aren't actually licensed to practice medicine. Isn't laughter the best medicine? No, 